feel like you finally got your reward there after banging on the door all night. Yeah. Um, pleased, probably. The biggest and pleasing thing for me is the patience that we showed. There was no... I've been here many a times where it gets desperate and you're f firing long balls in and shooting for 40 yards. There was real control. We constantly we could we were unfortunately not to go in at half time a goal or two up, um, and that can lead to players being desperate or making the wrong choice. But we continue to do the same stuff all the time. Um, continue to create chances and and we get our rewards at the end. But I was I was pretty comfortable and uh, I think you can you can hope you'll get the goal. But I was quite confident the way the game was going that we were get they were getting deeper. There was more spaces happening and, and our fresher players came on and, and produced the goods. A big thing was obviously the, the crowd stayed patient as well. They didn't get on your backs and I think you understood the game situation. Yeah, and that, uh, it's probably one of the biggest things of being at Harps, whether you're a coach, whether you're a player, is understanding the demand. And it's not about if we're not winning within half an hour. It's it's not good enough and the fans are on your back. But if they can see something happening and can understand what we're doing, then it's a great place to play. Um, teams are going to come here and it draws a good result. So their game plan is to sit and frustrate you and, and hopefully counter you. We continue to move the ball at a good pace. We had players in good positions and the structure was really good. As much as our formation is what it is, we had nearly nine, ten players in the final third at times, which is important to move the ball and move it quickly to get your chance. And then you've got guys who are willing and enthusiastic to make runs that they might not get the ball, but they'll open space for somebody else. And that all these things played their part tonight in, in, in a good team performance. It's it's good for Kenneth to get off the mark. <laughs> <laughs> I said it during the week. He's unfortunate. He's been a guy who we've relied on more than we should have for a young player who's come into the team and, and he's done a lot of the hard graft without getting any reward. Um, and I've, got, I've said it before, he's a real talent. He's got loads of quality. And then tonight, everybody's buzzing with Kenneth because he scored, but all these touches in the other games and he uses the ball, he wins the header in the 93rd or 5th minute in his own box when you're trying to defend the corner. He's a top player, he will be a top player and that, he gets his rewards for for being patient and, and waiting on that chance to come. So i um, very pleased for him individually, but overall, good group, played well and it was a deserved win, I think. How important was it to get a wee win there to get a weekend as well? It was an important win, not just for the weekend, but just for the the demands at the club. That, as simple as that. If you if you draw at home, it's not going to be good enough um, in a lot of matches. Uh, so, first of all, it's a good win. It's an important win because of that. Secondly, the boys are... it's In loads of aspects, it's been a good week in terms of the performance at Rangers for the majority of it. Tonight's performance and win, and then it gives us a good bounce to go into Sunday which will be an important game but one we are confident. Thank you guys. Thank you.